another dorm tour, my kids. And today it's gonna be my summer dorm room, my summer dorm room tour of this beautiful thing behind me. But first, before we get to that, let me just say that if you have never seen this beautiful face before, what are you doing? Subscribe, subscribe my guy down below. There's red button, it says subscribe, but you should absolutely hit the subscribe button because that beginning montage was no joke, okay? It took me all day yesterday to do and mostly because it was 107 degrees outside and I went and filmed all of the outsides of the dorms. So subscribe because of the quality of that montage. And if you're not convinced to subscribe from that montage, I'm gonna convince you to subscribe with this montage. Let's go. with my montages and my cinematography lately, but I can't help it, okay? I have just been feeling the creativity flowing through my bones and it's been a great time lately. So, hope you enjoyed that montage. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. There we go, I'm not gonna keep pressuring you to subscribe. Either you like me or you don't and that's the bottom line. Anyways, so, we're going, why did I walk here? Anyways, we are going to start the dorm room tour now. I'm going to show you around my dorm here at Grand Canyon University and give you a little peek of everything that we have going on here. Um, yeah, but just a little disclaimer first before the video starts. Right now we are in the process of like moving and kind of packing stuff away. So we have three fridges in the living room and you are not supposed to have three fridges in the same room. You're supposed to have one fridge per room and you have three rooms so that makes three fridges. Right now we have all three of our fridges in the common area. But don't worry, they're not all plugged in. Please don't kick my booty, RA. We just have them in here for right now. We're trying to figure out our situations in these rooms. Also, I just wanna say that I live in Saguaro Hall here at GCU, Grand Canyon University, that place. I live there, here, I live here. And the three dorms that are open during summer are Saguaro Hall, Ocotillo, and Chaparral. And they are all very similar. Saguaro and Ocotillo are like identical. And then Chaparral Hall is like a teeny bit different, but not too much. It's about, they're all about the same. So if you're gonna be living here for summer housing, this is basically what you're going to have. And if you are an incoming freshman coming to GCU, this is a lot like your dorm that you will be getting over at the Grove. So the Grove is comprised of four halls. There's Juniper, Acacia, Ironwood, and Willow. And so if you're in any of those dorms, this dorm is gonna be a lot like the dorms over there. So if you want an idea of the layout of the dorms, keep on watching my guys. And if you want an exact layout, I have a dorm room tour from my freshman year that goes over everything in the dorms of the freshman kiddos. So if you wanna go watch that video, I'll link it down below. But either way, keep watching this one because we're about to show you a spicy room right now. It's, it's a nice room. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done talking because I talk so much. We're gonna get into the dorm room tour now, okay? Cool. Okay, so when you first open the door into our room, you see the kitchen over here and the living room over here. We'll get to the living room in a second, but first we're gonna start with the kitchen. So right here is the kitchen, and down there we have cleaning supplies and just like Tupperware and extra stuff like that. And then right here we have dish cloths, dish rags, whatever you wanna call them. And then up here we have our little baby sink, some cleaning brushes for dishes, dish soap, a Keurig, and a little plant. Then up here we have a piece of like decor, like wall art stuff. And then if you come over here, we have a shelf with a bunch of food and stuff on it. Each of us have a shelf. And then right next to our shelf, we have our recycling bin and our trash can. And sorry that it's like super bright. There we go. I'm filming this on my iPhone because my camera was being a butthole, so it's fine. Anyways, and then if you come this way behind everything, we have a shelf that holds all of our stuff. And right next to it, I just put my longboard. And 
I have a little saying that says, cry a little, suck it up, and work harder, ho. And that's just for my roommates because they're in nursing school and they need all the motivation they can get, my guys. And then we have some honey right there. My friend makes honey. So I bought some of his honey, so it sits there. And then this is some honey I took from one of my PA jobs. And yeah, it was at like a fancy hotel, so I took it because it looks really good. And then we have utensils and sugar. And then down here we have uh, coffee cups, cups, um, like bowls and a strainer, more bowls, plates. Down here we have like to-go cups and Tupperware. And that is our shelf right there. And then if you come over here to the left, we have one of our first fridges. Remember I said we have three fridges in here. That's because we're figuring out our situations in our rooms and we're like cleaning and getting everything ready for our new dorm. So don't mind all the fridges. Please don't kick my booty RA. They are only in here for like today and tomorrow. So there is our first fridge. And on top of it, we just have like fruit and stuff. And then right next to it, we have our sofa area with a lamp. And up there we have a tapestry and over the top of the window we have lights, fairy lights. They're actually Christmas lights, but they still look cute, so we put them up. And then we have a, uh, what's that called? A floor lamp? Yeah, we have a floor lamp over there. Um, our TV, this big basket that I found at the thrift store for seven bucks with a bunch of blankets inside of it. And then right here we have two more fridges, a microwave and a candle that we never like. We just like it to look cute. It looks super cute. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It says adventure awaits. So it's too cute not to put on top of this. So we just have it there. And we have an amazing view from where we are in Saguaro. So my phone is not gonna get good footage of the view. So I'll just pop in some clips from my camera and put in a little montage of our view. Anyways, that's our view. This is the living room slash kitchen, uh, just like the common area, I guess is what you call it. And then off to the side here is my roommate's room. I'm actually not gonna be showing that in this dorm room tour today, but I will be showing you guys my room and their room is exactly like my room just mirrored on the other side okay so let's step on into my room over here so when we first walk in we go by my roommate's bed and she doesn't have a lot going on for summer because we're only here for two months so she didn't see the point in hanging up anything so that's her side and then this is my side right over here super duper cute i love it so freaking much i just think that it's perfect for me and it has all of my stuff and it's like perfectly organized and i enjoy it a lot i guess we can start with like this area and then head this way i suppose should i open the blinds i feel like i should probably open the blinds i'll open the blinds okay so right next to the window i have my makeup um this is a magnifying mirror that i accidentally broke during moving and I have like all of my palettes right there and all of my makeup right there. And then behind I have a power strip that I hook my Mac to and my lamp. And there is that. I have a lot of makeup and I think I'm gonna downsize here soon, but that's where I put it. I just put it on top of an ottoman. And then right next to that is a little baby desk that GCU provides um, and I have a blanket on my chair. I have my Mac right there, my headphones a journal with all of my like film ideas and like YouTube ideas and stuff like that in it. There's an SD card, um, my phone charger, and then a bunch of books. I actually have this book by, this is Stephen King's son. <laughs> Joe Hill is Stephen King's son and he actually is a writer too and he does like horror books also. So I have that right there and my reading glasses and my Bible and stuff like that. But anyways, if we go up, you can see a fan right there. And then behind there is like some lotions and stuff that I keep right next to my bed because I always have to put on lotion after I get out of the shower. So I just put it there. And then right here is my bed. I love my bed. Oh my gosh. I have a like mattress topper on it, which is like foam. So it is just so comfortable. It's crazy. And then if you come up here above my bed, we have a slate right there surrounded by lights. And then right next to it is a macrame that I made myself. And I have a bunch of my favorite films on there. 
I think I need to add a few films, but for right now, those are my favorite films. And then if we go up, there is some more lights right up there. And then below them is a world map. And then yeah, we're back at my, at my bed. Oh, and this pillow right here, it says, I will not be shaken. So I love that. It's a Bible verse as you can see, but yeah. If we go below my bed, there are some like, what's that called? Luggage stuff and all of my bags are in there, like all my purses and backpacks and stuff. And then over there I have a towel that I use if I wanna dye my hair and a t-shirt that I use if I wanna dye my hair. I know that's super odd and random, but I've dyed my hair a lot in college, so I keep them around just in case. And then there's an air mattress underneath those guys. There's my guitar that I'm trying to learn. And then right there is some, obviously laundry. First off, there's a bunch of laundry in our face. Back there is like this little um, diorama thing because I wanna do a stop motion short, but I just haven't gotten around to it and I'm not sure how I want to do it yet, but I have everything for it still and I still wanna make it. So it's back there and all of my art supplies are right there. And that right there, that's laundry. And then right here at the foot of my bed, I just have some blankets, some throw blankets. I have this like plant holder. That is the cutest thing ever. And I got it from Target and I highly recommend. And this is a fake plant from Ikea because I cannot keep plants alive to save my life at all. Like I can't keep them alive. So I have a fake plant. Here is a hat that I never wear. And right here is a tray that I got at Target. It was like $15 or something like that. And it's designed for like dorm beds and you put it on there and it's like, you can use it for anything really. So I use it for perfumes and deodorant and stuff like that. And then down here I have my food container that I put a lot of food in. As you can see, there's like seaweed right there. Um, and then right here, I just got home from work. So that is my backpack. That's like my purse. And then that is my like food container from work that I like pack my lunch in. And then if we come up here, we can just see the wall. That is my decorations. If we come down, we can see the dressers and everything like that. And then right over here is um, a whiteboard and a corkboard. So, so I'm gonna go more into what is going on over here. So I bought this thing. It is like a bookshelf that goes on top of dressers and it is the best purchase I think I have ever made in a long time. It is so cute and it helps so much with storage in college. And I just, I love it. I love it so much. It's actually a little bit bigger than the dresser is, but I think it will fit perfectly on the desks of GCU. But if you take that and put it over there onto that, it will fit perfectly. But anyways, I like it over here. It's great. I love it. So on top right here, I just have a bunch of books and then a slate that I use on set that my mom got me as a present, which is like, thanks mom, you're the best. And then a bunch of lenses right there for my Sony. And there's my Sony. I'm not filming on her right now because she would be a pain to deal with during this video because her auto ISO just irritates me. I don't know, I'm sure it's like fine, but for me personally, I don't like it. I just wanted to film this super quick, super simple, and so I left her there. Um, and then there's my Canon Rebel T5. I like him, but I think I'm probably gonna sell him soon. So I'm about to go on a tangent really quick. So if you don't wanna hear this, I'm sorry, but I'm a big camera nerd. So I bought the new Six Sigma MC11 adapter. It's for Canon lenses to a Sony body. And I was so excited because I had three Canon lenses. One, two, three, okay? There's the Sigma adapter. And only two of these Canon lenses work with that Sigma adapter. This one is an EFS mount which means I would have to get an adapter to adapt this to that adapter. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I probably won't because I'm not sure if that will even work, but there's all of my camera stuff right there. And then down here, I've got a bunch of pictures and stuff and some plants and then a Phoenix Film Festival poster. Right next to it, I have a bike thingy mabob I found at the thrift store and it's super cute. I love it a lot. And this is from my best friend, Rosalie. She went to the catacombs a while ago last year and I am dying to go to the catacombs and she knows that. So she got me a skull from there, but it fell and it broke. 
So I use it as a business card holder because I can't see myself getting rid of him. And then down here is a plant and some push pins and then my business cards. And then if we go into my first drawer right here, this is where all of my electronics live. Um, I have like batteries right there. I have like adapters and like a sensor blower cleaner thingy-ma-bob. Yeah, this is where all of my electronic stuff lives because I'm a film major and I need all of that. So it's all in there. Down here, this is where I have a bunch of food. I am a chocolate connoisseur, so I always have to have chocolate in there. And then in this first drawer right here, it is my drunk drawer. My drunk drawer. My junk drawer. I always do that. And I have some nail polishes, some contact stuff with like glasses cleaner, some tape, some, this is like for, what is that called? When you have like a headache, like medications and crap. And then right here is like expo markers and stuff, some bathing suits. That is like a folder that I put all of my adulting stuff in, like my W-2s and whatnot and then a hydro flask lid. <laughs> Can you go back in there, my guy? Cool. And then I have Kill Bill Volume 2. That is one of my friends that I have to give back to him. So it's in there. And then in the second drawer, I just have a bunch of t-shirts. I've got my GCU TV t-shirts right there, my Phoenix Film Festival t-shirt there. And as you can see, it's like super clean and laid out. And I have some clothes missing because I need to do laundry. So yeah. And then my third and final drawer, I just have a bunch of pants, pants, shorts, skirts, and that's that. And then over here, this is all of my like underwear, stuff like that. You guys don't need to see it, okay. And then there's my camera bag, more camera stuff right there. There's like a tripod back there, yeah. Right up here is a cork board and my whiteboard that I try to write stuff on that will keep me going, you know? And so yeah, this is this area. Ta-da! And then we're gonna come into the bathroom now. So here's the bathroom. I'll just give you a quick little overview of it. We have a trash can, a toilet, and then up here we have our shelf rack thingy. We put like our face stuff, like hair stuff, and then like we both have our own shelf. Right next to it is a cute little like art thingy ma bob and then if we come over here there is the sink and the mirror there's a big light above the sink as you can see then we have like a shelf over the sink too that comes with the room and we just put like small things on the sink whatnot yeah and then there's a towel rack right here and we put up a fake plant above it and then if we come this way there is a hook behind the door and the door's trying to like open and I just put my bathing suit on there when it's drying. And then there's a second towel rack. And my roommate is drying her bathing suit right now too. And then here's our shower. In case you guys want to know how big the shower is, this is what the shower deal is like. Oh, and this, we bought this. This does not come with the dorm. We bought that guy. He just like goes over the top and he's super useful. But then if we come out of the bathroom into the closet over here, let me just shut this door. That door goes into the common area. And then if you come in here, this is our closet. So my roommate did not hang anything because she thinks that it's pointless because we're only here for two months. But I have a bunch of stuff up. So this is my area. I've got like all of my clothes right there. I've got like laundry detergent up there. This is for like miscellaneous items. This is for like yoga pants and athletic stuff. And then if we come down here, all of those are my shoes. And then we've got a, what's that called? A vacuum. And then up here we've got some shelves and there's the towels and then my jewelry container with my dad's uh, Father's Day gift that I forgot to give him. And then there's some more shelving down there. And then if you come out of the closet, we put up a mirror behind the door. And then here's the mirror, obviously. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's our dorm. I'll just give you a quick little overview of the place so you guys get a full idea of everything.
that is the end of my dorm room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave them down below and I will answer them as soon as possible. Yeah, if you guys have any like video ideas or anything like that, leave them down below. And if you guys want, subscribe to the channel and check out my Instagram. I will leave my Instagram down below. But either way, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that it helped you figure out what GCU's dorms like or if you just wanted to see what a dorm room looked like, this is what a dorm room looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but thanks guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!